we heard a lot about um, dissolving borders already, and I'm going to tell you my story of dissolving borders, which is a story of courage and passion. But I want to start with two questions, and I would like to ask you, who of you likes his job? Wow, that's great. <laughs> okay, second one going to be more difficult. Who of you absolutely loves his job? Who has got his absolute dream job? Still great, okay. <laughs> So I can't stop and sw swim home, <laughs> but I try anyway. I used, to, I used to have my dream job as well. I used to play professional football. But due to a serious knee injury, um, my body gave me a lot of time to reflect. And the question was, am I still on the right way? Am I still on the right path? And am I still happy? During my long rehabilitation of more than like three months, um, I fought within the conflicts because on the one hand, there was this young boy, Peter, whose dream it was to become a football pro and join Bayern Munich one day. But on the other hand, there was this young man, Peter, who kind of felt not being on the right path anymore. Because he slowly, but more and more, got tired of the football business. Tired of a world where humans are numbers, they don't just wear it on their backs, where humans are either heroes or zeros. There is nothing in between. And tired of a system which is based on glamour and glory, money and power. And especially the shallowness, the arrogance of so many people in the business just made me sick. But it was such a hard time at the beginning. I had so many doubts. Like, should I really give up my career in football prime time with just 25 years? Should I really give up a great salary? And the biggest question actually was, what I'm going to do instead? I only got football in my life. And in addition to my doubts, so many people around me, even in my family, couldn't believe I was even considering giving up my career. They just wanted me to continue. And it seemed to me that they were even more sad about my thoughts than I was. But after three weeks, after three months of rehab, Three months of thinking, worrying, reflecting, and not sleeping very well, I decided to escape. Because I finally understood this accident, this knee injury, came for a reason and it was time to say goodbye. So I was there saying goodbye to football, which I said was everything to me. And the question was, what am I going to do with my life instead? With the announcement of the end of my career, I was so relieved and suddenly all the pressure was gone and finally I felt first time in my life this kind of freedom. But the big question was what I'm going to do with this freedom. But quite soon um, it turned out that there is another big passion in my life. A passion that I kind of forgot while focusing so hard on football. And this passion is writing. I just love it. I absolutely love it. And the funny thing is I actually always did already in school and probably because of my mom who used to be a passionate German teacher as well. But yeah, like I said, I kind of forgot. But one day, already a few years after school, I started to write again. Um, and first about almost anything, like my opinion of just some issue which came up or politics or wars and later a lot about myself as well my relationship my goals in life my dreams and I got really into it at that time and I couldn't stop writing while sitting in front of my laptop I kind of lost the sense of time which is by the way probably the best sign of doing the right thing but the interesting thing at that time was the more time I spent writing in front of my laptop the more I got injured on the pitch. Can that be a coincidence? I don't think so. So, writing was the one passion in my life I loved the most, like I said. And the only chance for me to spend as much time as possible with that was to become an author. So I decided to create and publish a book about my career which was full of ups and downs, successes and setbacks and injuries. But I also wanted to tell 
my experience in and my opinion kind of the glamorous, the illusory football world. And so on September 24th, 2012, I still remember the day perfectly, I released my first book, which is Träume verändern, literally would be dreams change. Although I had no clue how to do that because I had no writing education, I had no publisher, I had no connections in this branch, I had absolutely no know-how. But I had one thing, and that was passion. And so I just did it, I just went for it. And already a few weeks later, it turned out to be the best thing to do. People were am amazingly surprised, like, wow, that's amazing, a pro football player knows how to write. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> And I got really um thank you. <laughs> yeah, even he's surprised. <laughs> I got unbelievable touching response of my readers, and I sold more books than I could ever imagine. It was just incredible. So my dream came true. I was an author now. But after reading and selling my book in almost whole Austria, I realized, okay, I'm an author, but I'm kind of a jobless author now. So. Can I do a second one? Um, and what should I write about next? Um, because I cannot really do novels I've never tried, I just prefer to write real stories. So the only chance was to make my own story again. <laughs> uh, the story of a trip around the world. But actually it's the story of my wife. Her dream always was to travel the world, but her bad luck was she met me. <laughs> I couldn't at that time, like I said, I was just too focused on football. But now, after quitting football, I could, and the time came to fulfill your dream. <laughs> so in January 2013, we started our trip. And we traveled, and traveled, and traveled, and traveled for 15 months. So 15 months later, we came back home. And I came back home with a great new passion. Actually, have I ever thought we are born with our passions and cannot really develop new ones? But that's a complete misbelief. I experienced that. We, we just need to be open for them. And we were talking so much about borders. And I believe that there are no borders in our lives anyway. But we often tend to make some. They, they just exist in our minds. I'm sure that we can do anything we really want to and anything we really believe in. We just need to dissolve borders of courage and believe in the power of passion. I wasn't quite sure when we came back from our trip, like this Easter, how life will be then. Money was gone, no great salary anymore, and starting again from zero. But today, four months later, I know it's just beautiful. I just recently came up with this kind of my three years vision, where I asked myself, where do you actually want to be the day I turn 30? On June 26, 2017. And I knew immediately, I got the answer. I want to be at my massive birthday party, celebrating the ultimate breakthrough as an author with all my friends and all my supporters. And the first step towards this party is going to be the release of my next book this autumn. It's going to be a travel book. What else? Um, but not just a normal travel guide. It's going to be the story of a former football pro getting out of the box which was quite hard, having the time of his life with his wife, enjoying the absolute freedom, meeting great and inspiring people, visiting some of the most impressive places in the world, and finally changing his personal values. I believe that this world is just great if we see and face the challenges. So let's just go for it, let's be courageous, let's chase our passions and let's find or even create our dream jobs. And I want to say thank you to Hermann and Katzi, the Dream Academia, to make my dream of speaking here at TEDx come true. Thank you. <laughs>